those who become are those who never settle they know that there is always a better and greater version listen in ancient times success was always based on this tripartite formation of king priest and prophet we have lost that pattern in our generation the prophet will usually double as the priest you see kings were helpless unless with the advantage of the prophetic if they were hedonistic kings they would surround themselves with necromancers and diviners they knew that there had to be an advantage of the realm of the spirit someone you've been struggling just with your intellect doing the best that you know to do listen i believe in skill i believe in competence but can i tell you there are times where even if you're a fisherman like peter you are in the sea, the right place to catch fish. Having the boat, having the net, you will still not catch fish. At that point, you don't need fishing again. You need the prophetic. Jesus looked at them. He was talking to a professional fisherman who had paid his price. He was at the right location, having the right tools, but he still did not catch fish. Someone, you may be a doctor, you may be a, a medical practitioner, you may be a professional. You've invested in yourself. But you see, James 2.26 says that a spirit without a body is dead. Your business is only a body. Where is the spirit back in it? Your ministry is only a body. David knew this about Goliath. So when he came, he said, Goliath, you come to me with your spheres and your bows, but I come to you by a covenant. There is a spirit back in me. Many of you are doing many things that are right but you have ignored the prophetic advantage. Now, the prophetic can be abused, but within the limit of scripture, it works wonders. Can I tell you, it is not every anointed prophet that blesses you. Prophets are sent to people. The Bible says there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent, meaning he passed other widows and greeted them because he had nothing to offer to them. When Elijah was alive, the Shunammite woman was still alive, yet he did not do anything to her. But when he met the woman in Zarephath, that was the end of her story. I believe that God has sent us here by faith because this is a Kairos moment. I am a product of the prophetic speakings of fathers. I know what prophecy can do. In one day, prophecy can lift you and elevate you to a position of honor and grace. God is speaking to someone. You connected to this hallelujah challenge because you have cried, you have prayed and said, Lord, what is the way? Hosea chapter 12 now, it says, I have spoken in similitudes and I have multiplied visions even by the prophets. When we get to, I think, verse 13 or so, it says, give us verse, verse 13. Now it says, uh, is it 12 or 13 now? And by a prophet, thank you, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Who brought them? The Lord. But the physical agent was by a prophet. You see, let me tell you how it works in the spirit. The Bible says the spirit and the bride say come. It is not the spirit alone that says come. When the spirit says come, there must be a bride on earth as a witness that echoes what the spirit is saying. The spirit and the bride say be healed. The spirit and the bride say be lifted. If the spirit keeps saying be lifted and there is no bride on earth to echo it, lifting will never happen here. Are we together? So the Bible says from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. But that reality did not save anybody. Jesus had to become a man to come in partnership with that prophecy for salvation to be real. Wow. Are we together?